Welcome back, Irish fans, to Breaking Down Braves Boys podcast. Notre Dame just went final with Pitt, 68-67 win behind a big late pro- late push by Prentice Hub and uh, just a grinded out gritty win for Notre Dame, which is what Pitt made, wanted them to do, and uh, Notre Dame came out with it. I think uh, this game says more about Pitt and their inability to kind of capitalize on Notre Dame's offense being in a rut for a while than it does Notre Dame, but still – uh, says a good amount about Notre Dame to get out of there with a win, uh, even if they didn't have it for a good amount. Uh, if their best player, well, probably their best player, Blake Wesley, didn't really have it tonight. Uh, Notre Dame came out, got some big-time plays by veterans like Cormac Ryan, who had a big shot late, made a couple big defensive plays. Prentice Hub hit a couple big shots, which was great to see for him. Just for him personally, it's been – I'm sure a tough year for him, but uh, made a couple big plays down the stretch that got him out of this game. Um, Just a big night for Notre Dame. Um, A lot of their flaws you could see tonight, but you could also see um, why some people have hoped for this team to actually be solid. Notre Dame is now six and five against D1 opponents, seven and five in total. Um, If you include the D2 opponent they played, um, I think – Tonight, Notre Dame's flaws were shown, like I said. Um, the offense, frankly, wasn't good enough tonight for the most part of the game. It had way more turnovers than Pitt did. Um, just really stagnant for a long amount of time, especially without Blake Wesley when he had two fouls early. I'll uh, get more into everybody's individual performance later, but offense, frankly, wasn't good enough tonight for a long stretch, but uh, really came alive um, in the last few minutes, and that's Kind of all they needed tonight against the not that great pit team, but once they get deeper into ACC play against better teams, a la North Carolina, who they're playing what, next week, uh, that offensive performance will not slide. Uh, I thought the defense by the guards was solid tonight, but their need for a more physical big was pretty apparent. Um, Atkinson fouled out, and they had four fouls, and uh, Pitt's bigs. Uh, particularly John Hewley, just completely dominated Notre Dame inside at times. And uh, I've been saying for a while, I think they need to go get a more physical, uh, athletic type big, even if he's not super polished uh, in terms of skill set. And uh, tonight made that point pretty, uh, pretty clear. Like they're going to need to get a guy like that in the transfer portal if they want to compete. Every team in the ACC has a guy like this. And uh, if Notre Dame can't, really stop them. Uh, they kind of just got by against them tonight. I think if uh, they can really stop them, they'll be a lot better. And uh, overall, I think Pitt, Pitt played a solid game. They're not super talented, but they wanted to make this kind of a mess. They did, and uh, they let their physicality do a lot of the work for them, and it got them pretty far. If Prentice Hub doesn't hit a tough shot late, then Pitt comes out of this with a win. And uh, that's all you can ask for as a Pitt fan at this point, really. But Notre Dame, uh, I think it said a lot about them that they were able to kind of overcome some adversity throughout this one and make some big plays down the stretch to win. Prentice Hub says a ton about him. Uh, wasn't very good in the first half. Took a bad shot. Um, and you're kind of like, oh, brother, again. Uh, wasn't really hitting open ones either, which I think he's done a better job of taking open shots rather than forcing bad ones like he did uh, early in the shot clock that one time. Um, but late in the game, Prentice Hub makes big plays, and we haven't seen that in a while, but that's the Prentice Hub that I've been accustomed to know uh, a lot of the time. He hit two huge shots back-to-back, hit that three uh, Blake Wesley initiated for him, and then hit that shot late in the shot clock in the last possession that Notre Dame had. And Prentice Hub is basically the main reason Notre Dame escaped this game. Uh, wasn't great in the first half by any stretch, but – uh, I don't know who else would score late in the game like that for Notre Dame if Prentice Hub didn't. Blake Wesley uh, does, definitely wasn't his best outing. He had some scouts in the stands, uh, hopefully for his sake. They came away liking what they saw and uh, won't just go off this game, but those two early fouls really hurt him, uh, hurt his playing time. The offense was somewhat stagnant without him, uh, and you could tell he can't, he can't get fouls like that. Um, that eight-point start, eight-point – spurt he had really kickstarted Notre Dame's offense Um, and I think that was something that's an underrated part of the game tonight that was big Um, but he did turn it over a few times in a row 
uh, almost canceled that out. He needed to be more under control um, and stuff like that. With turnovers and taking bad shots, which he didn't do a whole lot of tonight, but was forcing it at times, fouled out, which, uh, well, didn't foul out. He <laughs> supposedly fouled out, and then I saw him back on the court. And said, what is going on? Apparently the commentators messed it up or a foul was changed or something. But overall, it wasn't a great performance from Blake tonight. Like I said, uh, I forget what day it was when they played Texas in and Purpose Purpose Christie. I think his playmaking has definitely taken a leap. And that was one of the things that I was sort of concerned about in his game was uh, playmaking. Well, not concerned, but I just thought he had a step to take there, and I think he's starting to take that step. And it's evidenced by that big assist apprentice hub late. Dane Goodwin uh, could have passed it to Nate on that uh, late game kind of free throw line jumper he missed. I'm fine with that shot, though. In all honesty, I'm okay with Dane Goodwin taking a shot like that. Again, he was solid tonight. Not going to win ACC Player of the Week with that kind of performance, but he got to the rim, uh, hit a couple threes uh, to get their offense on track, and grabbed a couple big rebounds late, which I think was his greatest contribution. Um, Dane was solid tonight, and uh, that's about all you can ask for from him. Had double digits. Uh, everybody in the starting lineup had double digits except for Nate Lashevsky. It's kind of the same Nate we've seen all year against high majors, started with athleticism and size a bit. Um, was fouling a good amount, uh, couldn't get much going offensively, and uh, just re- couldn't really get good looks against the size and athleticism of Pitt's bigs, and that's kind of been the story with him all year. I feel like I repeat that every game, but you're going to need more from him at some point offensively, and they're not getting it right now. But if you get performances like you got from some of your other guards, you're going to be just fine. Paul Atkinson, his front court mate, was – He's not going to get a whole lot of credit for this game, but I thought he was really solid tonight. Uh, the efficiency wasn't really there, four for 10, but he did have 16 at eight rebounds, uh, eight for eight from the free throw line. That's a huge part of this game that nobody really realized. Notre Dame shot 94% from the line, eight of eight from Paul Atkinson. If he misses one of those, it's a tie game. And uh, that was a huge, huge stat for Notre Dame, the, just the free throws, doing the little things tonight. Cormac Ryan did the little things well. Uh, and some of Notre Dame's other guards did the little things well, too. So if Notre Dame can do that, um, they can get away with offensive performances like this once in a while. And uh, they didn't do that earlier in the year. Tonight, they did the little things, and it worked out for them. And sorry if this table keeps shaking like this. But uh, at the beach, as you can probably tell, I uh, was tempted to do a beach show. And uh, it's also pitch black out there, so that's why there's not a beach show. But – Getting back to uh, Notre Dame's late push, a big part of that was Cormac Ryan was guarding uh, Pitt's best guard for a good amount of the game, did a solid job on him. Um, Obviously, their guards still got – all of their guards really got their own at some point. Um, But Cormac, I thought, did a nice job staying in front of the guy, uh, whoever he was guarding at any point in the game. Uh, Took that big charge late, got a steal late. And uh, overall, I think was really solid defensively tonight. I feel like towards the beginning of the year, he wasn't playing all that great defensively, or at least how I thought he could play. But uh, tonight, he was really solid. Hit that big shot late, um, and that's that's what you need from Cormac Ryan. This isn't going to be a sexy game for the stats for him. One for six, five points. But uh, like we've been accustomed to for Cormac Ryan, just hits big shots when you need him to it. A lot of the time, Indiana was not one of those games, but just makes big plays down the stretch, plays that you don't really notice sometimes, and uh, just does what you need him to do, does the little things, and he's a big part of Notre Dame doing the little things tonight and winning this game. I think he hit his free throws too, so solid outing for Cormac Ryan. Uh, I was hoping to see him get into more of a rhythm offensively tonight because I thought he could carry some momentum over from the bye games, but... Didn't do that all that well tonight, but hit a big shot, uh, made some big plays down the stretch, and it's about all you can ask for from him uh, in a physical game like this. Trey Wirtz was not that great tonight, um, in all honesty. Two for five, four points. I thought he'd be a little bit better against the zone Pitt was running. Uh, just wasn't really. He was forcing it a little bit at times, dribbling the ball a lot. Uh, did have that nice pull-up jumper. Can't remember exactly what his other basket was, but he was okay tonight. Uh, I think – I don't think we're going to get a whole lot of huge performances from him. I think he just 
kind of a complimentary player right now, which I don't know if I would have told you that when he first got eligible, but they haven't really got all that much from him this year. And uh, if Blake Wesley's going to step up like he has outside of tonight, then getting a lot from Trey. But um, Blake Wesley, I talked a lot about him already, but uh, I think this is a fine performance from him. Like, he wasn't all that good tonight. Had some not great mistakes that he made, but it's a freshman. He shouldn't have to be Superman. You should have performances from guys like Prentice Hub tonight that you got and Paul Atkinson, who that can kind of carry you. They're the older guys at the end of the day. And uh, Blake Wesley's going to make freshman mistakes. He's going to have games like this. You just got to hope that these games are games like Pitt rather than the UNC or Kentucky games, which he had a great game against Kentucky, had a good game against Illinois. So uh, I'd like to see another one of those breakout Blake Wesley performances. Um, feels like he's sputtered a little bit lately, not a whole lot, but uh, I would like to see one of those big time performances next week, maybe against Duke. I guess that game hasn't officially been canceled yet, but uh, not too much. Hope that that game will actually be played. Hopefully it is. Hopefully those reports were wrong, not for those guys' sake, but just in general. Um, but yeah, I thought Mike Bray was solid today, dropping into that zone, making pitch shoot threes. I thought they shot threes at a better rate than I expected them to. I don't think Pitt's all that great. On the perimeter, I think most of their offense is going to run through uh, their big guy. But they were okay from three tonight. And uh, I feel like this says more about Pitt than it does Notre Dame. Like, a lot of things broke Pitt's way in terms of how this game played out and uh, how Pitt shot the ball, how Notre Dame shot the ball, how Pitt was in a rhythm at times, Notre Dame wasn't. And Notre Dame still pulled it out. I don't think that says a ton about Notre Dame just because Pitt isn't all that great, but I think it just says a lot more about Pitt. I thought Bray was good, though. Jeff Capel, I thought – I'm not a huge Capel guy myself, but I thought he did a nice job tonight uh, kind of getting what they wanted out of this game outside of a win. But um, good for Notre Dame to go on the road and get a win, even if it's not that great of an environment and not that great of a team. Uh, Notre Dame was solid tonight, uh, had some really bad stretches. Also had some really good stretches late that hopefully they can carry into later conference play. The Irish are now one and one in conference play and uh, see if they can go anywhere from here. Uh, we want to make this the place to be post game, so be sure to subscribe if you haven't. Uh, next video will not be at the beach. So um, thank you guys for watching and uh, good win for Notre Dame. I will see you guys probably later this week. I have a recruiting show ready, and if the Duke game isn't played, uh, that will go up on Friday or Saturday. So thank you guys for watching. Go Irish, and uh, peace.